And the nice thing about it is this handle doesn't get too hot being out past the fire. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I've got a brand new hack for your Stanley Two Cup cook set. Stay tuned. So one of the problems that you run into with this two cup cook set is that sometimes people get this second hand and it doesn't have the lid. And there are different options that you can get for this or maybe you just don't like the fact that it has all of those holes in it and you want something that's a little more secure. Well if you can get a large pickle jar just like this that has a large lid on it, the large opening, I have found that this is an excellent substitute for the lid on the Stanley cook set. There are a couple of things that you have to do to this lid to make sure that it will work properly and let's get to that right now. The first problem you're going to run into using this is that it has these tabs on the side and if you stick it on here without crimping those, you'll have a really hard time getting that lid off. So what you need to do is take a pair of pliers or multi-tool and right here where these tabs stick out, you can see here, and here and here. You want to take your pliers and crimp that in just a bit. Now not too much because you still want it to snap on tight. You work your way all the way around. Okay, just like that. The next thing you want to do is put this in a fire or you can use a map gas or propane torch if you wish and you want to burn off all of the paint and there's going to be a plastic rubber type seal around the inside. That all needs to be burned out. The next thing you can do is you can take a fork, and I got this from the $1.25 store, and I modified it, left the two tines so I can still use it as a fork to eat with, but I bent these two, and I did heat this up with a torch because sometimes the metal just gets brittle from bending it back and forth, but if you heat it up, you can sufficiently do that. And how this works is it goes on just like this, and now we have a very efficient, little frying pan. Let's show you how that works. Take a little olive oil and dump it in here. And of course you can smear it around then. Make sure it's nicely coated all the way around. And then you can crack your egg like so. And you might be able to get two yolks in there but uh, you're not going to get a whole lot more than that because of just how much of the white there is. However, that's not a problem. You can do one at a time. This is for a one person type meal. Add the handle and then put it over the fire. And here's our egg. We put it down over our fire, just like this. All right, the egg looks pretty well done. It's over easy and it's ready to eat. And just like that, you'll have an extra lid and a great little frying pan. Of course, the real question is, how does it taste? Let's find out. Mm. Absolutely delicious. And even though the fork only has two tines left, it works real well. You may wonder, how non-stick is it really, using olive oil? Well, there you go. Pretty good. Especially considering the fact that uh, it's not really made for that. It holds up really well. And it fits great on the top of the Stanley Two Cup cook set. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our facilities in beautiful southern Ohio. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.